Where is it? What's that? Can you can you just do that while I'm outside? I'm gonna make sure the engine isn't falling out. <laughs> <laughs> It. You'll be within two miles, you'll be into it. <laughs> it's amusing, isn't it? It's making me smile. Well, that's what it's for. But what I really like, if you've got an 80s car, yeah. is those 80s number plates. Do you remember the, the font? It was called Cirque. Yes, I do. And it's a, it's a they really... Do, they do, do they? they? Yeah. Oh, I love a Cirque I was plate. Actually Only on an 80s car. I mean, I wouldn't just stick one on. I was going to be a bit Anything. sado and buy raised digit plates for my... Chevy Volt, but I, I think I might be in danger of being a stroker if I did that left hip. Uh, Is that a bit of a stroker I thing think to it's, do? Yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't work because that because it's a very techy car. And you're trying you're to make putting it... old-fashioned plates on it. Yeah, that doesn't, doesn't cut well, it. I won't, I won't do it. I won't do it. But on this, Bob on. Yeah, well, I, I, I think it finishes. Also, the car's so neat and unmolested, I just think it's a good finisher. And I see a lot of classic cars where people have spent a lot of money and time on it, and they put shat plastic plates on it, or just cheapo, you know, with the, like, the England flag, yeah, and I just think, no. oh, not, on a, not on an old motor. You're getting into it now. I was going to say, I've got a bloke with a Range Rover Sport up my ass, but well, I am... Give him lots of time. I, am I have people trying to overtake me when I'm turning right into my own house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, no, I'm, I'm going right, don't ever take me. When I was in Poland, another car the Polish are not sentimental about is the FSO Bolognese. Oh, they FSO just Bolognese. don't care. But <laughs> just a magazine that I was interviewed by, um, they had one as a comedy, comedy booby prize in a competition that they never ended up giving away. Did it was in their drive? basement car park. They said I could drive it, but the battery had got flat and we didn't have time oh, man. to sort it out. They're so. really hard to find in Britain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get used to the brakes. Yes, that's quite great. Well, the brakes need commitment and they the do, pedal is they? the size of a 50 pence piece. Yes, I was actually for a moment not even sure I was pressing it. <laughs> that was what panicked me. So, um, the, uh, the FSO was sitting in the basement, but they said, well, you can sit in it. We'll take your photo sitting in it. Oh, okay. Now the wheel was very low and I had to squash my legs like through the seat. Yeah, it was do. ridiculous. So I did that and they took my picture and then I went to get out and, and I sort of pulled a muscle in my thigh. Oh, I felt oh. it pull and I was sitting there and I was like, ow, that actually quite hurts. And for a brief moment I thought, I think I'm trapped in this car. Yeah, yeah. And there were all these really nice guys in this magazine were all standing around going, oh, that was you really funny, it was super funny, you're in this car, you want to get out now, we go back and upstairs. And like, I was like, no, I'm going to just sit here for a minute. And I thought, what if they have to call the Warsaw yeah. Fire Brigade and cut me out of the Polonaise because my legs got into some kind of mad spasm. Yeah. yeah. Do you get um, cr leg cramps very often? Not very often. How many times a year? Seven. That's all right. That's probably about the same. As what me. you mean, cramps like where you, the, well, you down have to here? Fold, yeah, you have to fold your leg back out. It's excruciating. If yeah. Someone's put a screw yeah, I don't get them. Considering that I don't eat bananas, I don't get them very often because I gather the potassium in bananas is a good thing for. Do you not eat bananas? No, I don't like bananas. Not even. Do you never force yourself to eat really new squeaky ones? They're, they're the probably. Yeah, the because that's ones. the thing. I think it's it, it's it's overexposure to horrible old bananas that's put me off bananas. Bananas always smell off to me. Dad loves them when they've gone black and they're like oh. oil in the bag, and it's unacceptable. It's just disgraceful. Yeah, go, go, go oh, on the brake. Yeah, we might want to use the handbrake yeah. just casually. <laughs> just, thanks, thanks, mate. I mean, th th these brakes are. They are they comically are very, bad. They are very bad. They are the one bit of this car that I'm not enjoying so much, but that's because I am lazy and decadent and capitalist, and I've become used to the powered disc brakes of a modern I western think car. You just you're not used to putting your putting your your leg putting into all your it. weight onto it as well because yeah. Like, yeah you're expecting it to trigger the ABS or lock the wheels and neither of those things are going to happen here. No are they? no no. Gotta, come on Belingo. Oh I see. Yeah, I thought you just called that Belinda. Belinda. I thought you know that woman in the Belinda. Look at she's got a, a sausage roll. Is that what it is? <laughs> that woman in the Belingo who may be called Belinda I think <laughs> she know. was called she Belinda. She had a whole sausage roll coming out of her mouth like a cigar. It did look like a cigar. A pastry cigar. She just wedged it in there while she negotiated that roundabout. 
that was spectacular. She had um, a full-size dog cage in the back. Did you, did you notice? Did she? I bet the seats she's... were down, full-size. She's a dog breeder. German Shepherds. Yeah, they always have those cars and they always wear fleeces. Always, always don't they? Always have That's a fleece. That's true. They're the gift that keeps on giving, so they go fleece, they go Peugeot partner, or... Um, what is that? What was that? That, that was a Bellingo. A Bellingo Bellingo Multispace. Multispace. I quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. It is Peugeot partner TP or a Bellingo Multispace. Simmering hatred of uh, unreliable ex partner. Men. Yeah, yeah. Unreliable, unreliable ex partner. Unreliable legs. Yeah. And um, and sort of a bit too close to all their dogs to the extent that you do wonder whether they interfere with them a little bit. I'm just going to put a cheeky fiber in the tank. Okay. Is that a gin and tonic. Do you know, you look like a guy that still lives at home. <laughs> together in this. <laughs> what? Wait to you. Oh. <laughs> look. I, look. There is no it's way that hasn't got no, that, cancer that, in it. That's, some actually, sort. that's actually for you instead. What am I doing wrong here? I don't know what you're Not doing. Into gear would be... well, I must put my USSR seatbelt on first. Hang on. Um, is it full? Yeah, it's pretty much. In fact, it's off the end of the gate. <laughs> So there you go. So I just stopped at 14 litres. I bet you you wouldn't be able to squeeze much gonna, more. I'm going to go up. Yeah, go up for this A8. Yeah. Come on, baby. Yes. <laughs> 23 HP. I think it's 23. It's making quite good use of its. Um... 0 to 30 is impressive. So if you imagine this round London town, uh, the, the immediate off the lights acceleration. We got a turn here. We're just going all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If I said to you, you're leaving your car at my house and you're driving back to Finchley in this. I'd give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> You'd know that if it's stalled, just go around the back and put that spake in it. Back in. It is very amusing. Yeah, oh, I forgot about the grab handle.